Happy New Year, if it really counts as a Happy New Year. And welcome to Morning Transfer Talk. Hello, and welcome to Morning Transfer Talk. Shall I just get started then? Sure. Tottenham Hotspur ha opened initial dialogue with striker Harry Kane over a contract extension, according to reports in The Independent. Hmm. Klopp has said we may not be able to sign a centre-back this month. That's no big surprise, because one, it's starting a transfer window, and two, Brexit. Solskjaer is set for Manchester United clear out. He's speaking to six of his French players about loan or permanent moves away from the club. These players include Sergio Romero, Phil Jones, Marcus Rojo, Jesse Lingard, Daniel James and Brandon Williams. Surely Brandon Williams will just be on loan. Atalanta won Manchester United's Amad Diallo on loan for Manchester United for the remainder of the season. Norwich plan to keep hold of key trio Emmy Buendia, Mark Sands and Todd Cantwell. Benfica want an early Getson Fernandez return, even though he's still got six months left on his loan. I don't think Spurs will mind losing him. Nice close in on a William Saliba loan move until the end of the season. Arsenal opt against an Isco move. Will Ali leave Spurs in Jan? Probably not, because they keep saying that they want to keep him. But why? Allardyce is going to focus on his defence ahead of a Tosun move. That is who he's interested in. Fulham are happy to let Jean Michael Serry and Stefan Johansson go. Galatasaray are on top of Fulham by uh, retaking midfielder John Michael Serry on loan again. So, um, yeah, there you go. Hoops are facing a goalkeeping crisis ahead of the next ahead of next week's trip to Celtic. At the former Rangers boss Mark Warburton opted to recall Dylan Barnes back to QPR. That means, unless Marciano can shake off his hamstring troubles or a new stopper can be sourced, Ras will have to turn into goalkeeping and coach Craig Sampson. Liverpool Franco Mayor Miller is expected to join Charlton Athletic on loan for the rest of the season. Fletcher, Darren Fletcher, has been appointed to the club's first team coaching. Oh, sorry, it's a damn deal. <laughs> Darren Fletcher has joined Manchester United's first team coaching staff. Don't know why that one took so long. Is there a way back for us at Arsenal? Hmm, depends. Wolves wingback Ruben Van Angra is close to completing a long move to Fama Lacau. Tottenham are not looking to offload Ali, but they are fine with letting go Paolo Gazaniga and Danny Rose. Bristol City are planning to recall winger Habkeep Abdelakun from a season long loan at Hull. Could Eriksson join Patch at PSG? Maybe. Pogba will stay at Man United in January, according to Fabrizio Romano. Celtic are seeking a centre-back 
but uh, Chris Clifford Julian was ruled out for three to four months with knee ligament damage after colliding with the post. Contracts are key for Rangers. And Stephen Gerald Pirotti is standing down with Glenn Kamara. Do we need a contract? Don't want any of the big stars to leave this one either. Burnley's new American owners have been inundated with calls from ages after they prompted to back manager Sean Dyche in the January transfer window. Oh yes, then you want the sacked. Liverpool should be desperate to keep Ryan Aldemar come to the good morning transfer panel. No rush for De Bruyne to sign, to sign new Manchester City deal. Because he's already committed to the club until 2023. And he won't sign the terms currently being offered. Dorbin Chief has said Sancho lost fluency over Manchester United rumours. But he feels he's getting back to his best. And it's official! Joey Barton has left Fleetwood Town with media effect. Costa wants a Premier League return, according to Fabrizio Romano. Again. Ramos to Mon and Modric to remain at Rail? Um, not sure about Modric, but surely they'll want to tie down Sergio Ramos to a new contract. Barcelona may wait till the summer to land number one targets Genie Wijnaldum, Eric Garcia and Memphis Depay. Palace are keen in the Marseille left-back, Jordan Amavi. They do need some defensive reinforcements. KRC Ghent are finalising a deal with Philadelphia Union for defender Mark McKenzie. Difficult for Barca to sign Wayne Alden. January tough, but business will be, business will be done according to Cave Solkeho. Juve want Giroud apparently. Dami Seth thinks it's very unlikely Pogba will leave in January unless someone unless something monumental was to happen. And it could be a damn deal next week for Brighton. Jakub Modder is expected to link up with them next week from Lech Poznan. Being called back early from season long loan with Lech Poznan. Well, it's not really a damn deal then because it's not a transfer. Sven Botman is not a Liverpool target in January. No big surprise. I think they should be able to do better than that. Cyril Giki Dembele has handed in a transfer request. Fleetwood Town have appointed Simon Wiles on an interim basis after the departure of Joey, of Joey Barton. Port Vale have sacked John Askey and his assistant Dave Keevan after only winning one of their last 12 Sky Bet League 2 fixtures. Wow. And it's a damn deal. James Brown has joined St. Johnston to Perth on loan as he replaces departed Millwall teammate Danny McMara. Whoa. Whoops. Could there be a win? Oh, oh, it's just that again. And it's official. A damn deal. Nice. Has have, have caught Williams alive on loan. Arsenal have now confirmed it. But technical director Adu has stressed. We're confident he'll have a great career with us. And it's a dandy. Bram, um, Swindon have signed Brantford left back Dominic Thompson on a loan deal until the end of the season. And it's another damn deal. Joe Day has signed for Bristol Rovers from Cardiff on loan for the rest of the season.
Carrow has said Liverpool won't win the title without a new defender. That's it. At last. Bye.